the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Welcome to this Cube Conversation. I'm Lisa Martin, and today I'm talking to Ivanti again and Intel, some breaking news. So please welcome two guests, the EVP and Chief Product Officer of Ivanti, Nayaki Nayar, she's back. And we've also got the VP and GM of Business Client Salute Platforms for Intel, Stephanie Hallford. Nayaki and Stephanie, it's great to have you on the program. It's great to be back here uh, with you, Lisa. And Stephanie, uh, glad to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are gonna break, break some news for us. So let's go ahead and start. Nayaki, hot off the presses is Ivanti's announcement of its new hyper automation platform, Ivanti Neurons helping organizations now in this new next normal of so much remote work. Now, just on the heels of that, you're announcing a new strategic partnership with Intel. Tell me about that. So uh, Lisa, like we announced our uh, Ivanti Neurons platform that is helping our customers and all the uh, IT organizations around the world to deal with this explosive growth of uh, remote workers, the devices that remote workers use, the data that is getting from those uh, devices, and also the security challenges. Uh, and neurons really help uh, address what we call discover all the devices, manage those devices, self-heal those devices, self-secure the devices. And with this partnership with um, Intel, we are extremely excited about the potential our customers uh, and the benefits our customers can get. Intel is uh, offering what they call device as a service, uh, which includes both the hardware and software. And with this partnership, we are announcing the integration between Intel's vPro platform and Ivanti's uh, Neurons platform. So which is what uh, we are so excited about our joint customers, joint, um, enterprises that are using both the products can now benefit from this out of the box integration to take advantage of this device as a service combined offering. So Stephanie, talk to us from Intel's perspective. This is an integration of Intel's endpoint management assistant with Ivanti Neurons. How does this drive up the value for the EMA solution for your customers who are already using it? Right. Well, so vPro is just to step everyone back. vPro is the number one enterprise platform trusted now for over 14 years. We are in a vast majority of enterprises around the world. And that's because vPro is essentially our best performing CPUs, our highest level of security, our highest level manageability, which is our EMA or EMA manageability solution, which Ivanti is integrating, and also stability. So that is the promise to IT managers for a stable, the Intel stable uh, image platform. And what that allows is IT managers to know that we will keep as much stability and um, uh, fast forward and push through any fixes as quickly as possible on those vPro devices because we understand that IT networks usually qual, um, you know, in uh, not all at one time, but it's it's sequential. So vPro is our number one enterprise built for business, validated, enabled, and we're super excited today because we're taking that remote manageability solution that comes with vPro and we are marrying it with Ivanti's top class uh, endpoint management solution. And Ivanti is a, is a world leader in managing and protecting endpoints. And today more than ever, because IT's remote and Intel, for instance, our IT over one weekend had to figure out how to support 100,000 remote workers. So, the ability for Ivanti to now have our remote manageability in band, out of band, on prem, in the cloud, it really rounds out Ivanti's already fantastic world class solution. So it's a fantastic start to what I perceive is going to be a great partnership. And probably a, a big target installed by Snaggy. Talk to me a little bit about COVID as a catalyst for this partnership. So many companies 
Stephanie talked about a great example of Intel pivoting over a weekend for 100,000 people. We're hearing so many different numbers of explosion of devices, but also experts and even C-suite from tech companies projecting maybe maybe 30 to 40% of the workforce only will go back. So talk to me about COVID as really driving the necessity for organizations to benefit from this type of technology. Yeah. Uh, so Lisa, like uh, Stephanie said, right, as Intel had to take 100,000 employees remote over a weekend, that is true for pretty much every company, every organization, every enterprise, independent of industry vertical that they had to take all their workforce and move them to be primarily remote workers. And the stats that we have seen is what used to be, I would say three to 4% before COVID of remote working, post COVID or during COVID, as we say, uh, it's going to be around 30, 40, 50%. And this is a conversation and a challenge every IT organization, every uh, C-level, Exact, and in most cases, I'm also seeing this become a board conversation where they're trying to figure out not just how to uh, support remote workers for a short time, but for a longer time as this becomes the new normal or the next normal or whatever you call that, uh, Lisa, and uh, really helping employees through this transition and providing what we call a seamless experience as we uh, employees are working from home or on the move or location agnostic, being able to provide uh, experience, a service experience that understands what employees' preferences are, what their needs are, and providing that consumer good experiences, what this joint offering between Intel and Ivanti really brings together for our joint customers. So you talked about this being elevated to the board level conversation. You know, this is something that we've, we're hearing a lot of, that suddenly there's so much more visibility and focus on certain parts of businesses and survival is, uh, so many businesses are at risk. Stephanie, I'd like to get your perspective on how this joint solution with Intel and Ivanti, do you see this as an opportunity to give your customers, not just a competitive advantage, but for maybe some of those businesses who might be in jeopardy, like a survival strategy? Absolutely. I mean, the, you know, while we both Ivanti and Intel have our own IT challenges and we support our workers directly, we are broadly experienced in supporting many, many companies that frankly, perhaps weren't planning for these types of, of instances, remote manageability overnight security and cyber threats uh, getting more and more sophisticated. But, you know, tech companies like Ivanti, like Intel, we have been thinking about this and experiencing and planning for these things and, and bringing them out in our products for some time. And so I think it is a great opportunity when we come together and we bring that, you know, IP expertise and uh, IT expertise, both IP technical and, and that IT insight and we bring it to customers who are of all industries, whether it be healthcare or financial or uh, medium businesses who are increasingly being managed by service providers who can utilize um, this type of device as a service and endpoint manageability. Most companies and, and certainly all IT managers will tell you they're overwhelmed. They are traditionally uh, squeezed on budget and they have the massive requirement to take their companies entirely cloud and cloud oriented or maybe a hybrid of cloud and, and on-prem. And they really would prefer to leave network security and network management to experts. And that's where we can come in with our platform, with our intelligence. We work hard to continue to build that product roadmap um, to stay ahead of cyber threats. Our vPro platform, for instance, is has uh, what we call Intel Hardware Shield. It's a set of technologies that actually protects against cyber attack even under the OS. So if the OS is down uh, or there is a cyber attack around the OS, we actually can lock down the BIOS and the firmware and alert the OS and have that communication, which allows the system to... Um, to you know, protect those areas that need to be protected or lock down or encrypt those areas. So this is the type of thing we bring to the party. And then Ivanti has that absolute 
endpoint management credibility that there's just, I think, ease. So if IT managers are worried about moving to the cloud and getting workers remote and you know managing cyber threats, they really would prefer to leave this management and security of their network to experts like Ivanti. And so we're thrilled to kind of combine that expertise and give IT managers a little bit of peace of mind. I think it's even more than giving IT managers a peace of mind. But so talk to me, Nayaki, about how these technologies work together. So for example, when we talked about uh, the neurons and the hyper automation platform that you just announced, you were talking about the discovery, the self healing, self securing of, of all these devices within an organization that they may not even know they have edge devices on-prem cloud. Talk to me about how these two technologies work together. Is it discovering all these devices first, self-securing, self-healing, how does then uh, EMA come into play? So let me give an analogy in our consumer world, uh, Lisa. We all are used to, or getting used to cars where they automatically uh, heal themselves. I have a car sitting uh, in my garage that I haven't taken to a, a workshop for the last four years since I've uh, bought it. So it's almost a similar experience the combined offering brings to our customers where uh, all these endpoints, like Stephanie said, we are, I would say, one of the leading providers in endpoint management where we support today, Ivanti supports over 40 million endpoints for our uh, customers. And combining that with uh, a strong vPro platform from uh, Intel, that combined offering, which is what we call device as a service, so that the IT departments or the enterprises don't have to really worry about how we are discovering all of those devices, managing those devices, self-healing, like if there's any performance issues, configuration drift issues, if there are any uh, security vulnerabilities, anomalies on those devices, it automatically heals them. I mean, that is the beauty of it, where IT doesn't have to worry about trying to do it reactively. These um, neurons detect and self-heal those devices automatically in the background. And almost uh, augmenting IT with what I call these automation bots that are constantly uh, running in the background on these devices and self-healing and self-securing those devices. So that's a benefit every uh, organization, every company, every enterprise, every IT department gets from this joint offering. And if I were on their side, on the other side, I can really sleep at night knowing those devices are now not just being managed, but are secure because now we are able to auto-heal or uh, auto-secure those devices in the background continuously. Let's talk about speed, because that's one of the things, speed and scale, we talk about with every different technology. But right now, there's so much uncertainty across the globe. So for joint customers, uh, Stephanie talked about the, you know, the large install base on, of customers on the, the B, B Pro platform. How quickly would they be able to leverage this joint solution to really get those endpoints under management and start dialing down some of the risks like device scroll and security threats? So, so the joint offering is available today. I mean, we uh, released the integration between both the platforms uh, with this announcement. So uh, companies that have both of our platforms and solutions can start uh, implementing it and really getting the benefit out of it. We, they don't have to wait for another uh, three months or six months. Right after this uh, release, they should be able to uh, integrate the two platforms, discover everything that they have across their entire network, uh, manage those, uh, secure those devices, and use these neurons to automatically heal and uh, service uh, those endpoints. So, so this is something they could get up and running pretty quickly? It's an out-of-the-box connection and integration uh, that uh, we worked very closely. Stephanie's team and my team had been working for, for months now. And uh, yeah, this is an exciting announcement, not just from the product perspective, but also the benefit uh, it gives our customers, the speed, the accuracy, and the service experience that they can provide to their end user, employees, customers, and consumers. I think that's uh, uh, super beneficial for everyone. Absolutely, and then that 360 degree view. Stephanie, we'll wrap it up with you. Talk to us about how this new strategic partnership is a facilitator or an accelerant of Intel's uh, device as a service vision. 
Well, you know, first off, I wanted to commend Niaki's team because our engineers were so impressed. They, you know, felt like they were working with the PhD advanced version of so many other engineering partners they'd ever come across. So I think we have a very strong engineering culture between our two companies and the speed at which we were able to integrate our solutions and at the same time start thinking about what we may be able to do in the future should we put our heads together and start doing a joint product roadmap on opportunities in the future, uh, network connectivity, Wi-Fi connectivity, all sorts of ideas. So huge congratulations to the engineering teams because the speed at which we were able to integrate and get a product offering out was was impressive. Um, but you know, second secondarily on to your question on device as a service, this is going to be by far where the future moves. We know that uh, companies will tend to continue to look for ways to have sustainability in their environments. And so when you have device as a service, you're able to do things like end-to-end -end supporting that device from its start into a network to when you end of life a device and how you end of life that device has severe sub sustainability and cost you know, um, complexities. And if we're able to manage that device from end to end and provide servicing to alert IT managers and self-heal before problems happen, that helps obviously not only with business models and you know um, protecting data, but it also helps in keeping systems running and being alert to when systems begin to degrade or if there are issues or if it's time to refresh because the hardware is not uh, new enough to take advantage of the new software capabilities, then you're able to end of life that device in a sustainable way, in a safe way, and even to some degree provide some opportunity for uh, remediation of data and you know remote erase and continue to provide that security all the way to the end. So when we look at device as a service, it's more than just one aspect. It's really taking a device and being responsible for the security, the manageability, the self-healing from beginning to end. And I know that, that all IT managers need that, appreciate that, and frankly don't have the time or skill sets to be able to provide that in their own house. So I think there's the beginnings today, and I think we have a huge upside to what we can do in the future. Uh, I look at Intel's strengths and in enterprise and how long we have been you know, operating in enterprises around the world. Ivanti's, you know, in the vast majority of Fortune 100s. And when you've got kind of engineering powerhouses that are coming together and brainstorming, it's, it's, I think it's a great, it's a great partnership for relief for customer pain points in the future, which unfortunately there's going to be more probably. <laughs> and Lisa, I think that's just one thing beginning. we can guarantee. Yeah. And it's what, sorry? This is, this partnership is just the beginning. You will see a lot more happening between both the companies as we define the roadmap into the future. So we are super excited about all the work, uh, the joint teams and Stephanie, I want to take this opportunity to thank you, your leadership and your entire organization for helping us uh, with this partnership. Absolutely. We're excited by it. We are, we know it's just the beginning of great things to come. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, just the beginning means we have to have more conversations. The cultural fit really sounds like it's really there and there's tight alignment with Ivanti and Intel. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Naraki, great to have you back on the program. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for hosting us. And Stephanie, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Likewise. Looking forward thanks. to the launch and all the customer reactions. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Stephanie. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching this CUBE Conversation.